I'm gonna take the stock Porsche Cayenne headlights from this to this. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is remove these two torque screws on the bottom here. Uh, those are a T10, so go ahead and remove those. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is remove these series of staples around the housing. So there's one here, there's another one there. They're just really uh, small staples. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pry those out. That's what they look like. Uh, so first thing we need to do is get a, a razor knife, a long razor blade like this, and just kind of go along the lens and just cut through the adhesive all the way around. Okay, so I've gone around with my razor blade as much as I could. So now we're gonna start the process of trying to remove this cover. So I find that the thing that works the best is to start in a corner. If we can loosen this corner, then we can just kind of pry the lens open. Uh, so basically, I'm just gonna heat up the glue, work my way around. All right, so what I'm gonna do is pry this open piece and get my screwdriver in there. Now what I'm trying to do is get my screwdriver to the bottom of the lens. And when I do, kind of push up on the lens, it's gonna force that lens to move up. So I'm just gonna do this going all the way around, and applying heat as I go. Now the adhesive that Porsche uses, it's quite different than the ones I've been used to. This glue, it doesn't soften very well like a traditional glue. Like it's very, like, like it doesn't soften at all. Like it's pretty, always, like it stays strong. It's not brittle, it's very difficult to work with. Okay, so, so what you want to do is get your screwdriver and go deep, go all the way down, and try to get it underneath the lens. And that way you kind of push it up, and you do this slowly, going all the way around. Once you have the corner open like this, then you can slowly start prying it apart. Yeah, there we go. Well, that wasn't too bad. That took about, ah, 15 minutes probably. Okay. But that's the easy part. Now the hard part is getting all of this glue off. Now, like I said, this glue that Porsche uses, it's extremely difficult to pull it off. It doesn't heat up and soften like regular glue. If we and get a flathead screwdriver that fits the width of this channel and basically just scrape it all up. Next, just get some butyl tape um, and just fill in the the channel all the way around. And the nice thing with this product, once I put it in, I can uh, heat it up a little bit to make it more malleable. It'll kind of go in nice and smooth. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, so here's how the product looks after it's been painted. I really like how that finish looks. This is the paint that I used. It's got a, it's a gloss finish. This is good for plastics and metal, which is why I use this. And, <clears throat> and one other thing that I did, put a bead of silicone all the way around 
So that's nice and sealed. And I can't wait to get this on the vehicle and see how it looks. Very happy with how it came out. I really like the look. Uh, the blacked out housing gives it a more modern look. Uh, overall, I'd say this project took me about three to four hours. Uh, I'd say it was well worth it. I'm